Joining us now, we have former White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders, Congressman from the great state of Florida, Matt Gaetz. Uh, we got about three minutes left. Let's get your take on the night. Sarah, we'll begin with you. Uh, look, I think the president's reelection chances right now have never looked stronger. The idea that his approval rating is at an all time high and crazy Bernie may be his opponent. He's a proud socialist, may actually be the Democrat nominee is frankly, I think should be terrifying for everybody. Not to mention Bloomberg, if he continues to rise, is going to have serious problems with women, with African Americans. His record, his language is offensive and atrocious. Um, then again, Maybe he can buy uh, the DNC just like Hillary did and steal it from Bernie like they did in 2016. Either way, I think this is another great night for President Trump, and I think he is going to continue mm -hmm. to look strong as he moves to November. Matt Gates, Mike Gates, how do you read this, and maybe you want to touch a little bit in the 90 seconds we got left on the issue I brought up with uh, Minority Leader McCarthy, and that is the four prosecutors and the DOJ stepping in in the Stone case. Uh, I believe that Roger Stone has been treated unfairly, and I'm hopeful there'll be a better result. I think we're witnessing a hostile takeover by the Venezuela wing of the Democratic Party. You've got AOC as the most powerful member of Congress. Nancy's got to ask her permission to bring bills to the floor. And you also have Bernie Sanders now leading this field. And I don't know why everybody's sleeping on Bernie, Sean. Bernie has the most money. He's gotten the most votes. Most of the ideas the Democrats are running on are Bernie's ideas. Bernie is the spiritual leader of the Democratic Party, and he's not even a Democrat.